You've seen him as a hotshot jet pilot, hotshot bartender, hotshot sci-fi guy, hotshot race car driver, hotshot secret agent, hotshot sci-fi guy, hotshot bat crap crazy guy jumping on Oprah's couch. Now see him in this summer's newest possible letdown as a hotshot sci-fi guy, Tom Cruise in Punk Satani Dangerous on Edge of Tomorrow. So try to guess this movie. The guy finds that he's reliving the same day over and over and over again. Groundhog Day! If you said Groundhog Day, then boy are you wrong, because this movie's plotline is so original that it makes Avatar not seem like a live-action fern gull. What the hell? Watch Tom Cruise and Warner Brothers pop a squad on Harold Ramis' grave in this movie with Mr. Cruise playing the same guy he's played in his last 50 films. But have no fear, he'll don an Elysium suit to fight evil aliens threatening the Earth while reliving the same day over and over and over again. He's got some help from Emily Blunt, who I can't quite get a fix on this actress because she always just looks very constipated in her movies. But you know, if you're looking to blow $117.68 to take your girl to a movie that she'll more than likely fall asleep during, take her to this summer's only big blockbuster budget movie that isn't a sequel or prequel, but sounds like it kind of should be. Groundhog Day 2, Edge of Plagiarism. All Tom Cruise jokes aside though, he was badass in Tropic Thunder. And don't get me wrong folks, I may sound very cynical because I'm constantly ripping on movies, but I want this movie to be good. I want all movies to be good, but lately I've just been let down way too much by modern day cinema. I could be pleasantly surprised though, this movie could turn out to be a great film, it's got really good reviews on Rotten Tomatoes, but it's, it's, it's Tom Cruise, man. He just doesn't stretch too far too often, you know? I'm not going to pretend. <laughs> but tune in next week. I'm going to talk about the new Sin City trailer, and that looks uber badass, so that's going to be a great time. And make sure you check out my Facebook page. It's called Tube Review on Facebook, where I do movie reviews and movie news and all sorts of stuff. And uh, thank you very much, Brent.